Tonight in sports, Cuse gets set to take the court down in Clemson, South Carolina. Well, the later the season gets, the more important the games become. That certainly holds true for both of these teams. We know that time is running out for Syracuse. The Oars likely has to win the ACC tournament if it hopes to go dancing in March. Well, the Tigers also have a, quite a bit to prove to the committee. Despite being fourth in the conference standings right now, Clemson's resume has some issues. Not only have they lost four of their last five games, but they have three quad four losses and no wins over anybody currently ranked in the top 25 which means this is a matchup of two desperate teams looking to bounce back. They got a lot of guys who are fourth year, fifth year seniors um, and have been through it a lot. So um, they all know what they know, uh, know how to play and they're going to be physical as heck. So we just got to be ready for it and be ready for a dog fight. We know that they're strong defensively. Uh, they're one of the best teams in our conference, obviously. So uh, we know it's going to be a tough game, especially in the in environment at, at Clemson. But um, we did, we're, we'll be ready. Tip time set for 7 o'clock on the ACC Network. Clemson is a five-point favorite. Back home, tonight's weather has impacted the high school playoff schedule. The West Genesee Baldwinsville boys basketball game has been moved to tomorrow. Beeville hockey will now take the ice tomorrow as well. The Bees are set to face CNS at 2 p.m. Other game times were moved up today to try to beat the storm. Like in Liverpool, the top-seeded Warriors hosting Utica Proctor. We pick it up in the first quarter. Raiders lose track of Bruce Wingate, and he may Makes him pay, dropping in the three. The Warriors would race out to a 16 to 8 lead. Andreo Ash, who assisted on that first bucket, decides to do it himself this time. Ash went for 23 points. Wingate added 16. Liverpool would score 20 or more points in every quarter. Jadir Reese getting into the act right here. He had 18. The Warriors roll 85 59. They next face CBA on Saturday. Well, we finish up with our latest News Channel 9 Student Athlete of the Week. Our Alex Sims introduces us to a Cortland senior who's found a great deal of success on the ice. Andrew Paragenone's love for hockey started at an early age. I think I was three years old. My dad took me out and my sister, she's two years older than me and she played hockey too. So, yeah, I saw them play and I wanted to do it too. From there. It was history. It's, you know, there's nothing better than scoring a goal or making an assist. And yeah, I just love the camaraderie with my teammates. Paragenone is a senior and has played at the varsity level since the eighth grade. He was able to read the game and process the game and, and think the game a lot faster than most kids his age. So you could definitely see that he wasn't going to be overwhelmed by the speed of it or by the decision making of it. So he was able to protect himself a little bit. And his ability to get a puck, move a puck was at a senior level as an eighth grader. Yeah, I started, I was on the third line. I just wanted to get a taste of it, and I was lucky enough to get some playing time, and I met a great group of seniors. I had my eighth grade year. They were really good to me. You know, they treated me like well, just another little brother, and now I've gone up, and I've taken their spots. I'm a senior, and I've just tried to be a good leader like they were to me. In 20 games this regular season, the hockey star has scored 22 goals in 39 assists for 61 points. Yeah, I'm proud. I've just always tried to bend the heart, like I said, the hardest worker. And uh, I feel like I've developed pretty good along with my other teammates. You know, they've been right there with me. And this group has really come together in the past few years. And yeah, I'm really proud of us. Congratulations, Andrew Parginoni, the Burned Area in Delhi, uh, News Channel 9 Student Athlete of the Week. Congrats, bud. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Andrew assisted on two goals last night as his season came to an end with a 4-3 overtime loss to CBA JD in the sectional semis. As a result, he finishes his high school career tied with former SU lacrosse player Jake Plunkett for most points in school history. That does it in sports. Jeff and Christy, back to you. What a great career. Yeah, absolutely. All right.